Hey guys, this is Eric from Inhouse Solutions coming back with the last video in the 3D Lathe Tool series. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to create tools for mill turn and B axis style machines. So, to get started here, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a mill turn machine group. I'm just choosing the generic uh, LTZ mill turn machine. This one should come pre-installed with Mastercam. So this machine has a B-axis milling spindle and a lower turret. So I'm just going to go through the job setup process here quickly. So the job is set up now. Now I'm going to go to the Lathe Tool Manager. Let's just put on our level with our tool first. I'm going to create a new library for this tool. I'm going to call it Tutorial Milturn. I'm going to choose Create 3D Tool. And we'll call this OD finish. So this is mostly the same as how we would define a normal tool with a few key differences. So for right now, everything is pretty much the same. I'm going to define this as a holder. I'll set the machine side connection plane. And we'll start defining the insert. Still, everything is normal as we would do for any other tool. This type of tool. Uh, left hand or right hand, I'm going to say that this is more of a left hand tool, although it doesn't really matter. Cutting plane in this case is going to be the top plane. And we don't need an offset. So I see the edge of the tool is right at the boundary. So where this differs a little bit is the orientation that we define the tool in. So on a mill turn style machine, you want to always have the tool defined in the tool change position. So that is going to be, in my case, with the tool going to pointing to the left in like the horizontal orientation. Everything else here is fine. I'm using top turret, left spindle, clockwise rotation. So now in the compensation page, I'm going to pick up the two edges to get my radius location. And I'm going to set the quadrant to 1. And there's a little change here for if you want to use the B axis contour toolpath. For this toolpath, you need to have the compensation point set to center. So we're going to set it to center. And then we'll go through the rest of doing our um, side clearance and end clearance angles. So in this case, our side clearance is this edge. And our end clearance is going to be this edge. And then I'll put in some values for the width and height. So now our tool is fully defined, and we can test out making a tool path with it. So I'm going to do OK and OK. So first, let's create a roughing tool path for our part here. I'm going to 
go to the rough toolpath and I'm going to select this chain right here. So with a machine that has a B-axis, we're going to use this tool angle button right here to control the angle. So I'm going to set this to 90 degrees. And I'm going to manually define the cutting definition or direction. I'll set it in quadrant one. And I'll do OK. I'm just going to leave all the toolpath parameters as default, except for the stock definition. I'll set to use stock for outer boundary. You see here that our tool is angled at 90 degrees. However, for the angle that the insert is at, this is going to mean that we're going to hit into our chuck. So I'm going to do OK. Actually, I'll press the X and I'm going to say that I want to keep this operation and then I'll modify the angle. So let's go back to the tool angle. And for the B angle here, instead I'm going to do, let's say, 60 degrees. We'll see how that looks. So maybe we need to tilt a little bit more. I want this edge to be like somewhat angled like this. Maybe we'll try 45 degrees and see how that works. This looks better. So there's my tool angled. There's my roughing tool path. Now let's create a B-axis contour toolpath. So I'm going to select from here to here. And we'll just leave everything as default and see what we get. So there's our toolpath. Let's backplot it. And we can see our tool doing a nice tilting motion there. Obviously, we would want to clear this material out before doing a toolpath like this. We probably wouldn't use this toolpath to machine this, but this is just meant as a demonstration. And so now we can launch this in the Milturn simulation. And now we can watch our simulation. We'll put the speed down a little bit slower so we can actually see what's going on. So we can see our tool is properly mated to the milling spindle. There's our roughing. and then our B-axis contour. So that's it for the 3D lathe tooling series. If you enjoyed this series, then consider subscribing and dropping a like. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, then you can leave a comment below and we'll catch you in the next one.